Recently, Dennis and I went to the Liberty Science Center and saw a gigantic railroad display, and I have a video of it on YouTube, and they had models of old-fashioned train stations with these giant clocks. There's an example of one there with Roman numerals on it, and I thought, boy, if I had a clock like that to put over my trains, it would be great. So on eBay, I found a place that restores old station clocks, and I bought the smallest one I could find. I think it was a 12-inch uh, clock, and this is it here, and it's kind of heavy. I, I'm not sure if the face of it is marble or not. Uh, this is it, and let's just take it out here, and you know what? You know, I'm beginning, I don't think this is marble. It's $55. I guess that's not a lot to pay for a restored clock. But, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't even seem to be working. And, you know, I, I, I'm beginning to suspect this is not. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an antique. Clock. Let the buyer beware. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good, though. I mean, I actually got it on on eBay. Uh, I mean, on Amazon. Doesn't that look really good? Mm -hmm. Seventeen bucks. Um, but there was something. Oh, where did that battery go? I just had a flat. It, for some reason, it says use. Carbon zinc battery, do not use an alkaline battery. And I Googled why would a company want you to use carbon zinc? And almost every article said they're interchangeable. One article said alkaline batteries are a tiny bit bigger than carbon zinc batteries. So there'll be a quick uh, wipe here while I get another battery. This is a triple uh, alkaline double A. <laughs> this is pretty. <laughs> this is pretty cheap. Genuine antique. Genuine, uh, yeah, carbon zinc battery, not alkaline. Oh, oh my god, wood particle board and a painted, covered, oh, uh, article board covered by a paper drawing. <laughs> That's the kind of craftsmanship you find in first grade. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Battery face. Yeah. Just in time for daylight savings time. I only, oh, you know what? I don't think it's going to fit in here. Holy cow. Is that possible? Scooter X. Oh, no. Okay. Um, and it says, no annoying second hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love one that went, is it quiet as ever because there's no second hand. And something about uh, a copper pin holds the hands on. Yeah. So, I mean, this is one <laughs> flimsy clock. But on a wall around the trains, uh, I think I can get away with it. That's it. It is, uh, doesn't even have a name. Uh, Habai, H-A-A-B-E-I, 12-inch analog classic battery-operated clock. That's it. Time flies. Woo!